Hey all, Mike here with Cine Samples, and this is the Tina Guo Volume 2 walkthrough video. So this is a second volume that we're uh, partnering with Tina Guo on. Um, this is a whole new library, all new sample content, all newly recorded uh, at the MGM scoring stage. Uh, here's some footage uh, from the recording session. So when we did the first library, that was just an expressive legato, really expressive, one dynamic, um, and it turned out really, really well. Uh, but we didn't get any other articulations. We didn't get any shorts. We didn't get any pizzicato. Uh, so that's what this library is about. Uh, in addition to some new effects. So I'm going to go through the patches and uh, give you an idea of what is in this library. So here's the legato. Um, The idea behind this legato was to try to get something faster. Uh, and the style of playing is a little bit more um, uh, universal sort of studio playing. And let's take a look at these buttons here. We have an attack overlay. So it's, if you hit the note hard, you get um, a staccato attack. The uh, legato is on by default. If you turn it off, you can kind of get, you can play more sustained chordal uh, material. And play polyphonically. And then we have this infinite bow, which is on by default. Uh, if I turn it off, you'll hear the bow change. Right. Which uh, may be nice to have for realism. Uh, I have it off here by default. Uh, and then you have control over the release volume and the legato speed, which is by default is um, CC2. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's move on. Now, everything is split up into a number of patches, but within each one of those patches, you can just quickly switch to each articulation. So next on our list is uh, open strings. This is simple. It's just the open strings of the cello. Now, this one is solpant. It's just a beautiful sound. We have the uh, harmonics. And then spiccato. Mark 
Mercado. Now these are split, and I'll show you in a sec. And they have just a real strong like attack with uh, a lot of vibrato. And you switch between sp uh, the spiccato and marcato. That's how you get just a little trick. You, uh, something we've always done with all of our libraries is that quick ability to switch between different articulations, right? Um, that's almost more important than, dare I say, uh, realistic legato. Um, the people that create the best mock-ups are, are able to switch between these different articulations because uh, that's really what brings realism to uh, a virtual instrument performance. I mean, it's tempting to just stick with staccato for everything that we write, but uh, just nice to have that. All right, that's marcato, and then we have uh, pizzicato. Those are the articulation patches. Now, let's move on to the old, here we go. This, these are the effects patches. Now, this is, let me uh, select the right MIDI channel. Okay. So what we have here is you can select the general tonality, the key that you want to be in. So we'll, we'll be in F for now and we'll do, uh, uh, minor. So there's two minors and a major. I'll explain in a second. So F, this is our F tonality. So all of these phrases, these are all original recorded um, phrases that, uh, that Tina uh, performed on the spot. What you see is I, if I change the key, you know, right? That way you can make it say you just have a drone going in, in your composition and you just want to add just some colors and uh, on top, you can do this. Now I've no I've never really been a fan of, of phrase libraries, but in some ways this is really nice because this is uh, Tina brings a very specific skill set to the way that she plays the cello, and uh, there's a certain style and phrasing um, and just little techniques and things that she brings that you can't really accomplish with some you know nerd playing a keyboard. Um, but if we can have some of these phrases recorded and just be able to control the, you know, the key that it's in, I think that it's really valuable to have and kind of gives purpose to the fact that we've, that we're working with Tina, right? Okay. Here's a, here's a major. Let's do a major. So there's tons of choices, a lot of cool stuff there. Um, now let's move on to this. So within these uh, patches, we have a uh, granulator, granular uh, synth, um, and I'll show you what that does. And there's two patches. This is this one is uh, the sparse one, and then there's a dense one. So here's the sparse one, and um, we'll do D the old D minor. But listen carefully.
Now, check this out. Here's the dense one. So basically, it's it's all the same phrases and patches, but now um, we're messing around with uh, randomization and density. Uh, and so the density is all the way up. And So you can change the key too if we need to. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. So there you go. That's those are all the patches in uh, in this new Tina Guo Volume Two library from Cine Samples. And uh, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.